Clarity is another factor that can greatly affect the value of a diamond. If you think about the fact that diamonds are formed within the Earth's mantle under incredible amounts of pressure, it's really no surprise at all that most diamonds do have flaws. Basically, there are two types of flaws, known as inclusions and blemishes. An inclusion refers to an internal flaw that are either completely encased or extend into the stone from the surface. Either way, they usually cannot be removed. Things such as air bubbles, cracks, and traces of non-diamond minerals are a couple of examples. A blemish, on the other hand, is found on the surface of the diamond and is easier to remove than an inclusion. Blemishes can include scratches, pits, and chips, most of which occur during the cutting process. Now, because all diamonds are unique in their flaws, inclusions are often referred to as nature's fingerprint and are often mapped out on something called a diamond plot. These tiny imperfections help distinguish one diamond from another, since only the rarest of all diamonds are flawless. Now, for the purpose of diamond grading, all flaws are referred to as inclusions. The Gemological Institute of America, or GIA as it is regularly known, categorizes diamond clarity on a scale ranging from FL, or flawless, being the highest grade, to I, or included, where imperfections may be visible to the naked eye. Most inclusions, though, are actually so small they can only be seen under 10 time magnification. For example, the flaws of diamonds classified as very, very slightly included or very slightly included are hard to see, even under 10 time magnification. But even though you may not be able to easily see an inclusion, it does interrupt the flow of light through a diamond. When light enters a diamond, it is immediately reflected out. If there is anything disrupting this flow, such as an inclusion, a portion of light will be lost. This diminishes the diamond's brilliance and hence its value. Thus, diamonds with no or few flaws are highly valued and extremely rare. With this said, some inclusions can be more noticeable than others. Their position, size, brightness, frequency, and nature can all affect their visibility. Here's an easier way of looking at it. Take these two shirts for example. A ketchup stain would be much more visible on this neatly pressed white blouse than on the brightly colored Hawaiian shirt. I mean as you can see here the Hawaiian shirt is obviously doing a much better job of masking the stain than the white blouse. Some inclusions can be hidden by a mountain thus having little if any effect on the brilliance of the stone. But other inclusions if in the middle or on the top of the diamond can greatly impact the dispersion of light flowing through a diamond. So in summary, the clarity of a diamond refers to the presence of flaws within a diamond that often obstruct the flow of light through a stone, though they can rarely be seen with the naked eye. But there's no need to get hung up on every little imperfection, because remember, the perfect mounting can often mask these tiny flaws.